yourself as a singer now compared to the singer you before? Before as in when I was starting out? Yes, when you were starting out. Mm, I've matured a lot, definitely. Um, I feel like my musicality has also evolved from before. Ngayon, mas alam ko na nga kung ano yung gusto ko. Very hands-on na ako sa music ko ngayon. Dati kasi, uh, sila na bahala. Basta kakanta lang ako. But now, everything that, from now on, everything that you guys will hear from me, everything that I will put out in terms of music, lahat yan talagang binusisi ko. Um, so yeah, right now I'm very hands-on. That's the difference. Of course, Janela, as an actress, you're known for your ability to deliver realistic emotions. So how are you going to bring that strength of yours into music? Wow, um, I think important then when you're a singer and you're able to convey emotions through every line, through every note. Because Lyrics are just 50% of the song, but like when you really, when you're listening to music, parang diba dun ka naapektohan pag alam mong na feel nung kumakanta yung kanta. So when I'm singing, ganun din, siguro talagang minanam ko din yung kanta. I think that's very important. Now we know your album is, you know, all sultry and sexy. Are there any, you know, mga dark heart songs din sa album mo? Ay, meron. Meron. I don't know if I'm allowed to share this, but I will. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pero kagabi, uh, I actually just recorded a song, the one I finished at 2 a.m. with Moira. Um, she was the one who wrote that song. So she wrote a song for my album, and you know how Moira's songs are. Dark so hard. Yes. Yes. yes, we're so excited to see that live, especially, you know, you're so good at releasing those emotions. Oh, you can't wait. Oh my gosh, I'm ready to feel it. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Okay, now we have um, Carlos Aragon of Mega Capamilia. Thank you, Carlos. Hello, po. Hi. And congratulations. Ah, uh, ito yung first question ko. Sino ang dream mong makakolab or makasama sa concert? Dream kong makakolab yeah. na hindi kasama sa concert ngayon? Or? Yeah. Hmm. Sayang kasi, umuo na sa akin si Ate Rich noon na mag sa concert ko, kaso nagsabay yung concert namin. So, next time na lang. Pero si Ate Rich talaga, I was hoping. Uh, and my second question. Sa 10 years mo sa industry, ano yung achievement mo that talagang gusto mo at ngayon nasa yun na and pinifilm mo na siya? Sorry, what's the question? Uh, sa 10 years mo sa industry, ano yung achievement na talagang gusto mo at Ngayon, nakuha mo na siya. Mm. Eh, siguro itong concert. Um, I feel like I've been working my entire life for this. Parang it's something that I knew it was gonna come eventually. I was hoping and praying. So, ito na yun. Finally, magagawa ko na siya. And hopefully, my hard work pays off. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank sure. you, Carlos. Okay, we have one question from Christian Melanie Lee of Manila Concert Junkies. When doing your latest single, Head Tone, what are some of your favorite moments? In the making of Head Tone? Yes. Um, hmm. Siguro excited ako kasi because nga, I was a part of the creative process of this whole song, but it's a music video. Uh, it was my concept. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited and I really enjoyed that process na talagang every detail in approve ko, sinagest ko, making the music video siguro and conceptualizing. I even made a, an entire PowerPoint presentation to present to them yung concept na gusto ko sa music video. So ayun. Was fun. Ooh, and we're excited to see it Ooh, very soon, guys. Yep. But yes, we have one last question for okay. the media before our surprise from Christopher Purnell of Philstar.com. Please come up. Hello, Christopher Purnell. Hello, uh, congrats, uh, Angela, and good to see you again. Thank you. Uh, my first question is 
uh, what would you say are three key moments in your career that would that led you to finally putting this concert together? Wow, Gabby, great question. Siguro. Oh, di ko na pag-isipan yun na. It's a good question. Siguro, the first moment would be... Siguro, multiple moments siya. Because when I was a kid, my mom would really take me to all her gigs, her concerts. Um, tapos, nasa isang sulok lang ako. Tapos, pinapakanta niya ako. And I was, I would be so nervous. But she pushed me because she knew that I really love to sing. Kaya hanggang ngayon, tingnan niyo, sobrang awkward ko. Kasi nga, lagi ako kinakabahan pag mga big social events. Pero yun yung struggle ko, I really love to sing. So I feel like her pushing me to sing in those little moments, um, those are that's one of the moments na talagang nag-mold sa akin, mga key moments. Um, second one would probably be... Siguro na success din of mahal kita pero <laughs> hindi ko siya inexpect. That was my very first Himig Handog song. They chose me to be an interpreter and I was 15 years old. I didn't expect that it would be as successful as it is today. And I'm very, very grateful. I guess if not for that great start, hindi rin ito mangyayari sa akin. So I'm very thankful for that as well. Tapos, third moment. Hmm. Third moment would probably be the making of this album. Kasi, siguro hindi naman din ako makakapag-concert ngayon kung di ako mag-release ng bagong music. And uh, during the process of making this album, I learned so many things then about myself na kaya ko pala to be in control of the things that I put out. Kaya ko pala talaga i-assert yung mga gusto kong marinig, gusto kong ilabas sa mga tao. Uh, I feel like it gave me more confidence to do even to make even more music in the future. So, yeah, that was great. Thank you so much. And for my last question, how would you tell your younger self that you would be staging a concert like this? Oh wow, she would probably be so scared <laughs> if I told her that. So abrang kakabahan siya. Uh, bata pa lang may anxiety na talaga ako, <laughs> but. Yeah, I would. I think I I would be proud of my future self, cause I really don't know. I didn't know what was in store for me. Given nga na lagi akong nahiya before, hindi ako yung bibong bata na talagang mm, hi hello hindi ako ganon hindi ako nagsasalita. So this is very big for me, especially if I would tell my younger self that I'm going to have a concert at 26 years old. Wow, um, that's crazy. But yeah, I would be so proud of myself and my mom would be as well. Thank you so much and congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you so much, Christopher. And thank you to all our friends from the media for our question and answer portion.